Welcome to day number 27 in your Building Strength for Life plan. This is a 31 day plan to enhance health, build strength and supercharge your confidence. If this is the first day that you're doing one of these sessions, there are a whole load of other ones for you to catch up onto. But if you are here because you're following the plan or you just fancy doing this session, then welcome to you. Today we are doing a strengthening session with a stretch at the end. So we're doing about three quarters of the time is gonna be strength and then we're gonna work, we're gonna stop, we're gonna pause and then we're gonna have a little stretch at the end. So all you need for this uh, session today is a set of weights, a mat or a soft surface and if you've got all that, then let's get going. Right, we're gonna get going with this workout today. So the first thing you're gonna do is pick up your weights. I'm using my light set of weights. These are my three kilos, but whatever that means for you, it's the light set. One of my hands is facing into my body, the other one's on the side, and I'm gonna lift up at the same time, bring down nice and slowly and under control, and switch. So we are doing a combination exercise here. It's two exercises in one to make the best use of the time that we have together. So really making sure when you're doing this exercise, you're not wildly swinging the weights, they're not coming up really high and then you're using your body. So really nice and controlled, taking a while to bring them back down, keeping those muscles working under tension. We have talked about this in this program before, so I know you know what I mean. Well done, take a rest. You can pop those weights down, you're just having a 20 second rest or if you want to, you can keep holding them throughout, that's no problem at all. About 10 seconds before we get going again, so just make sure you're comfortable, you know what you're doing. It's a little bit of coordination to this one as well, isn't it? As well as the strength element. Ready, let's go. So my toes are facing forwards, pushing those heels into the ground and holding in tight into my tummy muscles. Good. So really bracing into the core, as well as doing the movement into the arms, making this much more than just an isolating arm exercise. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Well done. Good. Keep working. Almost there. And take a rest, finish the one you're on. Good job. Next exercise that we're gonna do a little bit of fun what we're going to do is i'm going to bring back the right leg so bring it back either in a long lunge or in a reverse lunge here so i'm going to bring it back and then i'm going to come back into center and i'm going to kick out with the left side so back with the right kick out with the front ready let's go out kick out and kick making sure that you're really using a bit of power into that kick now if for some reason the kick doesn't feel good, you can do a frontal leg raise, which is less power, a little less impact. Okay, so for whatever reason it doesn't feel good, then you can adapt and change. You know you will always find options here. Keep it going, stepping back, kick, back and kick. Well done, good job. We're gonna switch sides. So I showed you that side with quite the long lunge. This side I'm gonna show you with more of a reverse lunge. But again, whichever option you want to do is totally fine. Okay, just work to your level and if you wanna do something in between, no problem with me. Let's go. So more of down here on this side. You obviously are gonna stick on your one option. This is just me showing you the options here. I don't want you to do one on one side and then one on the other. Good. So kick, a little bit of power, staying up nice and upright in the body. So you're not overly bending forwards as you're coming through and then coming all the way back as you're kicking. Staying nice and upright. And take a rest. Well done, good job. We're gonna come back to that one in just a minute. Before we do, we're gonna get down to the mat. We're gonna do a seated twist. You can do this from a chair, an elevated seated position if you want to, but I'm gonna head down here, sitting in a about 45 degree angle on the back, heels touching the floor, holding the weight. We're gonna go side to side to side. Now, if the weight is too much for you, you can take the weight away. 
if it's a bit easy on those with the feet on the floor, you can alternate which heel comes up, adds a little tension. If that's still a bit easy, you bring the feet up. And if that's still not quite challenging enough, you can pedal the legs out at the same time. There you go. You've got four different options there. And of course you can have them all with or without the weight. Three, two, one, take a rest. We're gonna go back up to our feet and do those kicks again. So working in that reverse and then kicking forwards, but anchoring yourself to the ground. So really grounding yourself in this bit of the session here, not wobbling all over the place. Two, one, let's go. Back, kick, back and kick. So there's a bit of momentum here. Back and kick. So just working on that little bit of cardio, little bit of coordination, strength and power. And quite often a lot of my clients like this because it can feel quite liberating. It's quite a nice one to do. You can sort of rid yourself of any negativity while you're doing this exercise and take a rest. It's a good one to do if you're feeling a bit frustrated, some pent up frustration there. You could just kick it all out and change it into something positive. Okay, we've got one more of those. We're gonna head back down to the seated twist. So the other side, I'm gonna go back with my left side. Let's get going. Out and kick, out and kick. Now you may have noticed that I'm doing a bit of coordination with the arms as well. You don't have to, but I'm just, just doing what I would call runner's arms. So I'm doing bent elbow to bent knee. And you can do that and then you can tuck in here if you want to. Or you can come up here, do something else with the arm. Whatever feels good. If you wanna challenge yourself on that coordination, then you can, but if it's just too much, don't worry, take a rest. It's okay, we all have our limits. And especially as in this program, I've tried not to duplicate exercises too much. Obviously, I want you to feel comfortable that you know what the exercises are, but I don't want to do the same old things over and over again, because that's boring. We don't want to do that. Ready? Let's go. So remember, you start with your feet on the floor and your progression from there is one up, the other one up, one up, the other one up. And your progression from there is both feet up and your progression from there is to pedal. All of those options are available. And of course, if you wanna do it without the weight, then you absolutely can. So I'm not looking down at the weight, but my head is following around the same direction Good, and take a rest. Now while we're down here, we're gonna do our next exercise, the lying leg pull-in. I really like this exercise. So you're gonna either sit back as if you were just taking in the scenery around you on the beach or anywhere else of your choosing, or you can lie down if that supported version doesn't feel right. You're just gonna kick one foot out and then push the other. So I want you to imagine that you are pushing a wall or something like that. So you've got a nice flat foot and you are push that wall, push the wall. So we're not coming up and round. We're not pedaling around like a bike. We're just going push, push. Good. If you feel that that's not comfortable in the neck, into the shoulders, then you can lie down, push, push, push. And this exercise can be quite intense for some people. And if that's you, that's okay. Just take a little pause and then go again, all right? And take a rest. We are gonna do that again. You're gonna have 20 seconds or so rest before we do that. So just take that time, breathe. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Just 20 minutes together today. And if there are exercises that feel tough, or you think, gosh, I've really, you know, I've got today 27, this is still going on, don't worry. 
I've got you. We are nearly at the end of week four. This is the final stretch for this week, really. You're doing so well. Good job. So tomorrow we've got a rest and reflect session. So nothing heavy going on there tomorrow. Much more of a mental session with a few stretches. So today really is the end of the week of movement. Two, one, take a rest, well done. Okay, we're gonna go around, spin around to our front. There is a variation for this one on your raised surface and onto your wall, which will be on the top of the screen. We're gonna do a plank to bridge. So this is a great full body exercise, really good for the arms. I'm gonna show you in a modified and a full position. So into the bridge, down to the plank, up to the bridge and down, up. Now, take the hips with you, so you're not coming up to the bridge and then coming down, but your bottom's still up, okay? So take your hips with you as you go. Up, up, and onto toes, it looks the same. Down, up, up, down, up, up. Taking the hips with you, okay? So whichever option you want to work on, Good for the shoulders, into the chest a little. Take a rest, well done. I'm just gonna give you a little rest and we're gonna go one more time. There's no point in getting up to our feet and then coming back down. We might as well stay down here, do this and then come up to our feet, okay? If you're okay with that, that's what we're doing. That's how we're gonna work. One more of these then, these are really tough. So if you're finding these tough going, just know it's 40 seconds. Time will always tick away. Time will always go. So just make the best use of that time. How many reps can you do in 40 seconds? 10, eight, 12, count them through. It's a good tactic that I use. When I'm finding things hard, I count it through. I try and distract myself. It's a good thing to do. And then you can bring yourself back into the present and find out you've only got one second. Take a rest, well done. Okay, our last exercise before we start our stretch series is we're gonna do a squat with a heel tap. So we're gonna get into a squatted position. So just looking in, squatted position, and then I'm gonna tap, 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 tap. So your body weight's gonna be shifting, let's go, sit down. Your body weight's gonna be shifting, but what we don't wanna do is shift and shift, okay? So trying to keep as strong and stable into the core as possible. Tap, now if you want to, you can go forward. So on the tap, 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 tap. So I've gone quite high here, but you can sit quite far into it. You can go to the sumo, which is what I was doing at first. Good. And take a rest, well done. So lots of different options for that exercise as well. Usually you'll go into that more sumo squat position if you have um, knee pain and you'll find that you can deal with it better in that position, deal with the squat better. Otherwise, toes facing forward is your traditional squat. Two, one, one more time. So down, touch 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 now if you want to you can hold on to something you can do this from a seated position so just touch 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 okay so you have options here if you can do it from a fully seated a fully unsupported um, position that's great otherwise you can have your back against the wall and you just touch 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 with the heels so you can have slightly supported fully supported or no support at all. Good. Two, one, and take a rest. Amazing work. Right, we're gonna head down to the mat for our stretch um, part of this workout. And what you're gonna do, you can do this from a chair as well, by the way, is you're gonna sit with your um, legs bent, feet flat on the floor, and you're gonna bring one leg over the top and you are going to stretch down. You're gonna push this knee down 
to the mat, okay? So you're gonna push that knee down to the mat, keeping your chest open, and here you go. So just push, push, push. Well done. We're gonna hold this as long as you feel comfortable. Minimum 10 seconds. Maximum around about 30 to 40 seconds. Okay. So keep holding it in. Well done. And let's switch sides when you're ready. So again, the leg on the top. If you need some help to maneuver it, manhandle it into where it needs to go, then that's absolutely fine by me. So you just get that leg to where it needs to go. And then you're gonna push down. So the knee is pushing down to the mat. If you need to give it some help, then you can do, but that's probably not gonna work from this position. You'll need to do that from the seated position and then you can push down onto that knee to help with that stretch if you want to. So again, just using the time as you want to. So if you want to develop a bit more flexibility, you're gonna go for longer on the stretch. But if you just want to just stretch out and shake out after the session or anything that's built up beforehand, then the shorter is what you're after. Good work. Almost there. Two, one, well done. Next part of our stretching series is you're gonna sit with your legs nice and wide, as wide as you can manage. If you're here, no problem. Here, if you wanna bend them a little bit, that's fine. Bring the arms out, shoulder width all the way across. You've got a nice straight line. Open up the chest, and then you're gonna come around, pulse for three, come back into center. Pulse for three, back into center. So really opening up the chest, and now what I'd like you to do, on those pulses, so really using the breath. Good, so I've just pushed my heels out a little more to stabilize. We're not holding our breath at any point. Well done. One more on each side. Good. And take a rest. Two more stretchy exercises. Both of them are up on our feet. So take your time to get back up to your feet. Especially if you've been sat in that wide position and you've stretched all down those inner thighs. So just take your time to get back up. We've got a few seconds before we're gonna go to the next one. Just looking in while I show you the next exercise. What I want you to do, engage the core, push the feet flat into the floor, bring both hands out in front of you and imagine you are pulling back a bow and then as you come around, I want you to look at that back elbow. So you're gonna pull back, look at the elbow, Come back into center. Whenever you're ready, pull back, back elbow, into center. Into center, well done. So really working through that upper back. Tight into the tummy, pushing the heels into the floor. Good. One more. And take a rest, amazing work. Last thing that we're gonna do is we are just gonna do a forwards fold into a back extension, both standing. So what you're gonna do, and it doesn't matter how flexible you are, you do not need to reach the floor. If you are super flexible though, that's great. But if you aren't, don't worry. You're just gonna have the feet around about hip distance apart and you are just gonna fall forwards under control, hanging down, and then just soften the knees if you need to, just to get all the way. A little stretch through the back of the legs. Nice round spine. And then start to straighten up. So if you've got the knees bent, you start with those knees. Rising up one vertebrae at a time. Click, click, 
click, bringing the shoulders back and the head. And when you're at the top, hands onto the hips and then start to go the other way through stretching through the abdominal muscles and shortening into the back. Breathing. One more time into neutral, folding over, hanging down, a little bend in the knee till you feel that stretch. Rolling back up. One vertebra at a time. And the pace that you go at is totally individual. Make sure you're breathing in this back extension as you're stretching through the abs and take a rest. Thank you so much for joining me today. That is day 27 done and dusted. Your comments are keeping this program alive for me. It's really helping me to continue to produce the content so thank you so much for everybody who's commented so far even if you just commented once i really appreciate the comments so please do keep them coming let me know how you're finding the sessions if you haven't subscribed please make sure you have it head over to the channel and do that and make sure you like the video and if you want a little bit more from me or want to find out a bit more about me you can head to my website strengthandbloom.com where you can find a little bit more about what i do Thank you so much for joining this session today and I'll see you tomorrow for a rest and reflect before we head into the last three days of the plan. Much love, take care, bye.